All right, so new year, you got a resolution going. Maybe that resolution isn't working out so hot and maybe it's creating some stress in your life. Well, let me introduce you to someone who's not only a horticulturist, a master gardener coordinator, an extension specialist, a home gardener, all things plants, Dr. Sherry Dorn. And doc, I won't shake your hand just because your hands are all dirty. Right. So good to see you today and thanks for joining us. What are you doing over here? I understand that you measure and understand the idea of the human dimensions of horticulture. Yes. What is that? The human side of plants and how could this potentially reduce our stress? All right, so good morning, Ranger Nick. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here in the greenhouse with me. So this morning, I am potting up some plants. Uh, you mentioned I was a home gardener. So I have been holding on to my plants. Last fall when the frost was coming, I collected my cuttings and I'm gonna pot them up. All right. But you ask, what's the human dimension? So. You mentioned being feeling a little stressed. You drove over here. Yeah. Maybe I'm wired, yes, I'm maybe maybe you had to deal with all the traffic in Atlanta. Yeah. Maybe you've been working on your faculty report at UGA. Mm, so you know, it. any of these stressors, okay? Uh, well, when we turn our attention to plants, we relax. It is just less focused, less concentrated, and our kind of a natural response kicks in. So it, we can feel our blood pressure dropping. Not not fatally dropping, but you know, relaxing, <laughs> right? Right, we just have a lot of responses. As we're working with the soil, there's yeah. sensory, feel yeah. that, you know, and that feels yeah. good. If, yeah. you know, if we smelled it, yeah. you know, it smells earthy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all of these appeal to us as, right. as humans, goes back to, you know, our, our, our history, our evolution. So, um, you know, for the plants that we have here, we're actually engaging with, we're actually touching, we're mm -hmm. actually potting. You wanna give that a try? Sure, sure, All absolutely. right, so I was, I was just putting some, pot, some, some potting mix here in the soil, right. in, the, in the pots here. And we wanna make sure that we, yeah, we probably wanna get it, get it all the way down in there. Those roots are pretty far up on the stem. Now this guy's pretty leggy. Yeah. And I'm putting it in a small pot, but I'm getting that, that reward. This is meaningful work. There's yeah. a visible result there right. and that, you know, that's part of what we're after in the human dimension. And it's a distraction away from something else in your life. Right. And, and what I want to do next with you is I understand you measure yes. how folks respond Indeed. to plants. And I want to go there and understand what's going on here on the campus of UGA Griffin. So let's march on over there now. Let's go see. All right, everybody, well, grab a seat. Welcome to class. Of course, we've got a great guest speaker with us today. Dr. Dorn, good to have you with us. Listen, we've been talking about the importance of horticultural therapy and the idea of the human dimensions of horticulture. How do you measure that? We're looking at something behind. How do you do that? Right, so sometimes we will use survey methodology, all right? So we'll send out questionnaires. We wanna get into the, the minds of everyday people. What are your practices? What do you do? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? And then some, that's kind of what we call the subjective kind of uh, perspective on human dimensions. But then we might ask them some objective. We might ask them, well, what, you know, how do you do this or how do you do that? And we, you know, we get a lot of idea about the difference between the two. Um, so we do a lot of, a lot of survey work that way. Yep. Um, but if we actually want to get into how our body is responding, then we might go to the lab and we might find some sensors and some meters and, you know, get, me get, 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 get and yes, yes, I've been warned, you know, get, yeah. monitoring that brain, seeing what's going on, seeing how our body is responding. That tells us that physiological response really gets in deep. And that's what a lot of scientists, you know, some of our scientists have worked on as well. And that's so interesting because that self-report data that somebody's sharing on a questionnaire, right. like what's on the screen, right. it, is quite subjective. It is. But when you got that biological data, hooking yes. somebody up yes. and measuring the yes. stress, the yes. blood pressure, the heart rate, yes. that's pretty incredible and hard to argue yes. with. Yes, the brain activity. And we like empirical data. Mm. You know, we, we researchers really appreciate empirical data and that gives us a very vast perspective. You know, you take that subjective, you take that objective, and then you take that physiological and you put it all together yeah. and it just confirms what we know intuitively. So Sherry, in this new year, if I have some stress or know someone with depression or anxiety, what are some things that I could do or encourage yeah. them to do to reduce some of that? Well, that's the cool thing about horticulture, very simple tasks, very rewarding, like this plant here. You know, it's very obviously root bound. It's, mm -hmm. you know, pot bound. It's, yep, Look the roots that. are hanging out, hanging out here. Mm -hmm. So it's Brownie. saying, it's saying, give me a new container. So just simply the act of repotting, you know, being able to, to get this plant out into 
a new container, a new home. So that gives you the experience of working with the plants, working with the soil, and that very purposeful, meaningful activity that's really going to help you mm. if you're struggling with some of those other, um, uh, other issues. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you need a pick-me-up, Go out and collect some found flowers. You know, you, you've got the, the art of pruning, you've got the uh, art of making flower arrangements with found mm. materials. You will find great pleasure and you know, great reward from these activities. And all of this stems from the idea of go. helping us. And, yes. and folks, what a neat thing. Doc, thanks so much for your time Absolutely. today. I so appreciate spending time with you and talking about such an important topic. Well, you know what to do. While you're online looking up more about horticultural therapy, hop over to the Ranger Nick Facebook page, check out what I've got going on there. And until next time, for the Farm Monitor, as I always say, Sherry, I'm Ranger Nick reminding you that enthusiasm is contagious. So pass it on. Y'all, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you right back here again this time next month. See ya.